My name is Rasmus. I, uh, my current occupation is technical character artist at IO Interactive. So a technical character artist um, is the binding glue between the character department that makes the models for the games or movies or whatever and the animation team that does the animation, the performance of set characters. So at IO Interactive I think we are most known for our Hitman franchise which uh, we had our reboot-ish in 2016. And currently the, the big project that's being worked upon is the uh, James Bond franchise. So one of the cool things about working at a place like IO is the amount of talent and dedication you see in the colleagues that you have around you. A lot of the time it becomes a passion passion projects. If you don't if you don't really want to push the boundaries, it, it, it'll show in the final product. So on, on the Hitman franchise, one of the things that we would get a lot of would be um, Hitman is known for taking specific outfits, either blending in, some are more inconspicuous than others. Some of them are outrageous, like um, in Miami you will see him running around like in a giant bird costume, like a flamingo. And that outfit introduced a ton of problems volume-wise that had to be figured out and a lot of skinning issues since he's, you know, very big around the hips and has a giant head on his, uh, uh, on his noggin. And all of that stuff introduced a bunch of technical issues that then would need to be solved to get that asset working as it now does in the game. So I ended up working at IO after starting out in the CG industry many, many years before. It was a windy road to end up there. I, I've, I'd done some games before. I'd done a good deal of movies before. I'd done a lot of Lego commercials, like a lot. And and it was a friend of mine who, who told me to apply. And I actually said no. And he said, do it anyways. So I did. And I ended up working there. <laughs> so one of the best things of attending Kata Trumax even though it's so many years ago, is that um, some of the people I met back then are colleagues today. Some of the best people that I know today in the industry started back there too. One of the main things for anyone who wants to make it in the industry is never to stop. It's to always, whatever job it is, if it's something that that, that will look good on your showreel, if it's anything that will, will be use, useful for a showreel, do it. Get it on there, keep progressing, keep meeting new people, keep expanding your skill set. If, if you all of a sudden, if you get a job where it's making grass and you're like, why would I take that? That stunts my growth as, a, uh, as an artist. No, if there's nothing else, definitely take that job because you never know if that, if the next movie that's gonna come out is gonna be like Ants 5 or whatever and they're gonna have a ton of grass in there and that's the angle that they need for you to get exactly that job. So if, if there's an opportunity, jump on it, keep pushing and if you keep pushing long enough, you will land the job that you want.